I did a couple of episodes of Kojak. <laughs> Sally you? was terrific. Yeah. Sucked on a lollipop. <laughs> he took everything in stride. He loved, loved what he was doing. <laughs> in, in between, he was placing bets. <laughs> His brother George was terrific. I loved doing that show. He, did, he, didn't, he didn't sweat it. He um, didn't make a big deal about things. And uh, the camera loved him. Again, it's that, that quality, the ephemeral, the ephemeral magic of a camera. You don't have to be pretty or handsome. The camera either, the camera either likes you or doesn't. Perfect example, you could roll off <laughs> tons of examples. All right, um, Humphrey Bogart, let's t just pick one out of the hat, right? See him in person, oh, that's the accountant, he's just walking by, you know? Camera just loved the guy. Look at that. And he was a Brahmin from, uh, from, from the East Coast, you know? Very well-educated East Coast guy. And he could play these guys like nobody else. But the camera just liked. So you have to, if you know that as an actor, and you know how to use that. That's the craft. Mm -hmm. So Kojak knew how to do that. Mm -hmm. He knew what he was selling and how, how to sell it. Um, long days, but what I learned from that was how to pass those days. He knew how to pass them. Whatever he was doing, he, he, he didn't seem exhausted at the end of it. He was, but uh, he, made it look, he made it look easy. It takes a lot of hard work to make it look easy, working 14 hours a day, as you know. Mm -hmm. So I love doing Kojak. And I remember, <laughs> and a little anecdote. Okay, so we arrive, one of the Kojaks, I think, was this the first one? Yes, the first one. Midtown, I get there by subway, of course. I get there by subway, I get out, and uh, we're, we're blocking, it's time to block. And it's uh, Midtown, it's where all the, this in the seventies. Was you got the dates there? So it's seventy um, something dates. Seventy three. Seventy three. There you go. Seventy three, and uh, <clears throat> a lot of uh, marquee were full. A lot of uh, porn was big in seventies. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of stuff were going on. I'm looking. I see what. Anyway, we're on the corner, and we're blocking. And he said, uh, he looks when we meet. You we chat for a second. He said, uh, you're gonna go like that. So what, like what? You're not gonna wear a dog? Or a dog? Like that? Natural? I mean, yeah. You mean bald? Yeah. He says, no. He says, what is he? I'm the, he says, I'm the only coconut here. <laughs> so what are you saying? You got a dog? I got two or three dogs. I don't like wearing them. So they had to send home. <laughs> they got to Somebody, one of the, so they had to send a production to go back to my apartment <laughs> and bring back a toupee. <laughs> so I had to wear a damn toupee because he was the only, that's what he was selling. He knew what he was selling. Mm -hmm. I said, what the hell? I got to wear this damn thing in the wind and you, you got you to gotta be careful how you face the wind because if you don't, you, go, you know, you look like, you look like, you know, like, like Lassie or something. And uh, that was our meeting. That was pretty funny. <laughs> So I had to go home, somebody had to go home and bring me back a dog.